what I want to show you here are some of the features of the rider scan. Well, rider scan has four specific curves. First of all, we've got the horizontal continuous curve, which gives over 180 degrees visual coverage. Now, an example of that is this is on the wall, and that's about an inch and a half maybe off the wall. But if I put my hand on the wall here, you can still see it. This picture is on the wall as well, and you can still see it. Okay, looking at the vertical curves, we've got an exaggerated curve at the top here. Now that ensures that the rider, tall or short, his head will stay still stay in the shot. The second vertical curve is uh, a lesser curve. Now that's to make sure that the traffic isn't too too squashed, so there, therefore it's more visible, more noticeable in the rider scan. And I'll show you, if I move my, my hand kind of up and down here, you can see it gets a lot slimmer as I get up to the top and a lot fatter when you come into the center section. Now the third and final vertical curve is to ensure that when the bike is banked over uh, in a curve or bend, the road and the traffic next to you doesn't disappear out of shot. Now an example of that would be if you can see this table here, if we can imagine that that was a vehicle on the road next to me and I'm going to bank the bike right over and you can see it's still in shot. Now looking at the top of the rider scan you can see that there are a series of lines. Now these are guidelines to give you, give the rider an indication of where the hazard actually is. Because when you first put the rider scan on your bike it will be very confusing. You'll not know where anything is. For example, I mean I can see if I, this thing here, this the top of this chair. Now this line's pointing at that, that tells me that it's it's there and it's not actually behind me. If we look at the back of the rider scan, when you receive it, this is how you'll receive it, except it'll have adhesive pads on here with protective paper over them, obviously. Now, the way that this has been designed, it will fit virtually any curvature of screen. As you can see, I mean, these, these go right the way out, like so. So you could have it like that. I'll just bring this one back in and spin this tie bar right the way up. It goes right the way up the top. Oops. So like I say, it doesn't really matter about the curvature of your screen. This, the rider scan, will mount. Obviously, if you've got a nice flat screen, I mean, that makes it so much easier for actual mounting purposes. But that is it. Those are the features of the rider scan.